I'm in New York City right now. I got here at 7 o'clock this morning. Our room's not ready yet. So we are just walking around. We just went to the plaza and had some breakfast and I think now we're gonna go to Central Park. But yeah, I thought I would vlog this weekend, take you guys with me, take you shopping with me and things like that. So hopefully it'll be fun. It is finally ready and I just really quickly wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, this morning I had on a really oversized sweater from Zara because it was super cold on the airplane. But then once I got to New York it was really hot so I changed. So I'm just wearing this shirt that I got from Zara. My um, Gucci belt, lovers and friends jeans, Gucci loafers and then this really oversized blazer. I got this from H&M I think last year. And these shoes are so comfortable to walk in all day. And I thought I would show you guys the room really quick in case you're wondering. It's just a basic room. Um, we've stayed at this hotel here once before. It is the Hilton uh, at Times Square. It's really nice, really simple. I like it. Um, last year we tried to stay at a few different hotels, but we came back to this one because I just really like the view. It's so pretty. I mean, nothing but concrete buildings, but I think it's a nice view. Oh, the concrete jungle. The concrete jungle. So it's about two o'clock now and we're feeling a little hangry. So we're gonna go over to Cafe Angelique's, which is just this really cute cafe slash restaurant. They have a really good lentil soup. And I think they had a quiche last time we were there that was really good as well. So yeah, we're gonna head over there, but we can't decide if we should walk. It's like a 40 minute walk, which kind of sounds ridiculous or if we should take a cab, Uber, or maybe take the subway. Also, let's ignore my crazy hair, but that's what happens when you have to catch a flight at six in the morning. We were super tired and then I just took a shower and did my makeup This is as good as my hair is going to get because not washing it or dealing with it at all tonight I'm in the bathroom right now because I wanted to show you guys This Fenty Beauty highlighter that I used it's in the color kilowatt so there's like two different sides in this and this, oops, this side over here is like a lot more subtle and then this side over here is like really shimmery and I just love the way it turned out. I think it looks so natural so I didn't feel like doing a whole bunch with my makeup. Um, so I just put the highlight like right here. I put a little bit on my cupid's bow, bridge on my nose and I also kind of like used that as an eyeshadow. I don't know if you could tell. But I love a natural highlight. I don't really like the ones that are like really in your face and a lot of the times it makes my skin look textured which I just don't like that but this one I just really like the way it turned out so I thought I would let you guys know but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then hopefully we're gonna get ready to leave because I'm starving again it's now like 8 20 when I'm in New York I gain like 10 pounds every time in four days because all I do is eat I'm like always hungry when I'm here. They have some of the best restaurants here and the restaurant we're going to is called Friedman's. It's my absolute favorite. Everything's gluten-free. They have such good food, but I always get the same thing. I always get the short rib and the parsnip puree. 
it is so delicious so i quickly wanted to show you what i'm wearing i just wanted to be really comfortable so i have on my cami nyc top the h&m blazer again and these zara um, pants which are just really comfortable and then my manolo blonics and i am bringing this bag which i usually wouldn't bring this bag for like a dinner but i don't know i just really like the way it looks with this outfit so we are waiting for our uber but i wanted to show you guys this restaurant across the street it's called wolfgang's and it's so good it's So today is day number two in New York and we have a big day today. We're going to do some shopping and we're going to see a Broadway show tonight. We're also going to have brunch later. So yeah, I think we're going to go to Dior, Chanel, Zara and maybe a few other places but I know that I definitely want to go to Chanel and Dior. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing. Okay, so I was actually going to wear over the knee boots today but it is going to be 80 degrees so I don't feel like sweating all day. So I just have on this sheer turtleneck that I got from Zara, my self-portrait skirt, and then I just popped on my Gucci loafers. They just go with anything. And for a bag, I have my Gucci Marmont mini velvet bag. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be wearing today. Maybe tonight I'll change in some over-the-knee boots, but for now, I think these will be really comfortable to do some shopping and yeah, just walk around the city. So...
so we just got back to the hotel room shopping was really successful stay tuned for an upcoming haul i'm going to show you guys everything i got i had some of the items sent to my house because i don't want to haul them around and i honestly have no room in my suitcase at all i think now we're just going to hang out at the room for a little bit it's six o'clock I'm super exhausted. We took the subway today for the first time. Last year when we came, we never took the subway, and so this was the first time. It was a pretty interesting experience. But yeah, I'm just super exhausted. Um, we were gonna go see a Broadway show tonight, but we're gonna do that tomorrow instead just because it's already late, and we just wanna relax for a little bit before we're gonna get some pizza. So I think I'm gonna end today here, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Today is day number three, and I have a huge pimple right here because I used a uh, I think it's called Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask or something like that. Yeah, I had the glorious idea of going to Sephora, bought one of those, used it last night, woke up this morning with a huge breakout, but whatever, that's life. And it's also raining, so I'm wearing a hat, and I'm also wearing a hat because I didn't feel like doing my hair. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I'm wearing. I have on this sweater that I got from Zara. I just got this yesterday. I think it's so cute. It has pearls on the sleeves. And then I am wearing this dress that I got from Free People, which is really cute as well. Now, it's a little bit on the shorter side. I usually don't like short, short dresses, but I think it's just on the edge of being okay. And then one thing that bothers me a little bit, I think my boobs aren't big enough. So sometimes when I walk, this kind of slides down, which is a little annoying. But I still think it's really cute. And then I have my Gucci bag and my Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots so this is the look we're going for today and we're getting ready to get some breakfast at the butcher's daughter i've never been there but i heard it's supposed to be really good and i looked at their menu and it looks like they have some really good fresh pressed juices and i really feel like i could use one of those and yeah let's go because i'm starving is so delicious. Mm, oh, no. so this is a private guest house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are on the street where Sarah Jessica Parker lives. This is her actual doorstep right here. This right there? And it looks like her house is uh, for sale. Yes. We just found the Sex and the City house. There it is. Pretty awesome, huh? With an anti-Trump sign in the window. <laughs> That's so cool. I love Six in the City. So today's our last day in the city. We are getting ready to check out. It is about 11 o'clock now. Our flight leaves at 8.50 tonight. So we have a little bit of time to do some things. I think we're gonna go over to the Rockefeller Center and then we're also gonna go to 59th Street, which is like my favorite street. We're gonna have lunch there and then I think we're gonna go to a museum because it's raining today and yeah, that's just a good thing to do when it's raining. I didn't continue filming yesterday because I had a terrible experience at the dry bar. I don't know why my arm's shaking, you guys. Let's try this. Okay, this is a little better. I don't know, my arm's like shaking really bad this morning. But um, anyways, we're, I didn't um, continue filming yesterday because I had a terrible experience at the dry bar, whatever, it's just hair, but I had to rush back to the hotel room to fix my hair. I had like five minutes before we had to go see um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So yeah, it was just a big disaster yesterday. But um, we made it, and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was absolutely amazing. I loved the play. It was so, so beautiful. I think it was my favorite one that I've seen so far. We wanted to see Wicked, but we decided to buy tickets last minute, and Wicked was completely sold out. So we ended up seeing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which I wanted to see anyways. So we'll see Wicked next time. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing for today. Here is my final outfit for this trip. I am just wearing this sweater dress that I got from ASOS. It was really inexpensive. I think this was 
I don't know, like $35. It was really cheap and I love it. I love the fit. It's kind of loose, so it's not super fitting, but it's not too loose either. I got it in a size small. I really like this a lot. So, and it's nice and cozy, which is good because today it's raining. So yeah, I'm just wearing this sweater dress and then I just threw on my Stuart Weitzman boots and I know you guys think I'm crazy for walking around in heels in New York City and in a museum but I actually wore these exact same boots last year when we went to the same museum and these shoes are just, they're really comfortable. I walked in them all day yesterday. The heel height is just really good so they don't hurt your feet or anything. And then I got my Gucci Marmont bag again. This is not the only bag I brought but for some reason it's the only bag that I just been wanting to wear. It just looks good with everything so yep. Here is the final look. Just really easy, really basic. And yeah, so let's go and get some food because once again, I'm hungry. It's a different bowl. Ooh, that looks really good too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's avocado toast with a poached egg and pork wine reduction. And here we got some rigatoni. So good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. So we're at the plaza right now. We stopped for some hot chocolate and a crepe, which was really delicious. However, we just realized that our flight was canceled and we're not gonna leave New York until tomorrow around 10 o'clock. So yeah, we have another night in New York. Not sure what we're gonna do. It's super loud in here. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear me. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up so I know to do more vlogs when I travel. And yeah, I hope I'll see you guys next week. Oh.